I'm Wendy Morato. And I'm Debbie. And the sadly, today is Andy behind the camera. His last day. So last time, hi Andy hey behind Andy. the camera. And how long have you been with Andy doing? Well, I've been with Andy for. <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope his wife's not we've listening. Had, we've had a date every couple times, to uh, two times a month-ish for about eight years. Yeah. About eight years and over a hundred shows. We know that mm -hmm. for those that watch regularly we've done well over 100 shows here you try <laughs> all the, this one is a happy cat um and so now we get to say um uh, and jared behind the camera thank you for coming jared from armstrong and uh, we welcome really appreciate jared. welcome to jared but nothing against jared we will miss andy greatly we will miss andy i already miss you andy and so he's off to a new adventure. I'm sure we'll see him. And so we're, you know, sad, all the luck. but happy for Andy because he's one of the most wonderful people that you would ever meet. Where are truly. You going? Uh, and so now we get to have a hundred shows with Jared. <laughs> Yay! Hey, look at that look on Jared's face. No, <laughs> he's like, oh, don't even like that. No, I don't. I'm not speaking for him. All right, so let's get to going because we have a big show today. We're going to introduce show. my new store called is, the Wendy Chic and Shabby Shop, which is very which nice. Which is really too much of a mouthful, but we we named it that because a lot of the stuff is donated. Some is new, some is used, so therefore some is chic and some is shabby. And uh, boutique didn't make sense, and so we just put shop on there with a PPE. And, um, and it works. And Cute it's little store. Got a not, lot of nice stuff. And I was just telling her before we started what, how it'd be great for new people moving out. You yeah. can get, they have some really great dishes, um, pots and pans, decorations for your house. Um, We're going to have furniture, furniture eventually, sooner than later. Save your, you know, save some money, come and shop here. Really inexpensive. It is inexpensive and you can get Pictures, your house. Pictures, yes. uh, housewares things to decorate mm -hmm. and stuff. A lot of stuff. So. And jewelry galore. We have jewelry. a whole room for yep. jewelry and purses and scarves and, and baubles. Just my, up my alley. So, um, but we still have some cats and kittens. Debbie's still doing the cats. I'm so. still doing the cats. <laughs> We've got to make money for the cats, which is what we, we um, had, you know, close quick fix. Um, for what we already explained reasons, but this is something that's always been near and dear to my heart. I love garage sailing, I love resale, I love all of that. And people have been donating to us for years and without a real strong outlet for it. Every once in a while we do a garage sale and offload some, but some of this stuff is really good and we would make gift baskets with it, but it just keeps coming in, which is Fantastic. Thank you. And now we're really going to want you to keep it bring it coming in um, because all of your donations are tax deductible and 100% of the proceeds goes to the cats. So That's right. this just made sense at this point. Mm -hmm. We want to stay in this building. We're going to have a hard time staying in this building. So we really need to make these things work. So come shop. You'll yep. see the store, the second half of this. Yeah, we're going to really do nice. some panning so, of the store. So who do we have? We, we have happy. Happy. We got seven kittens. So I named them after seven dwarfs. Mm -hmm. There's uh, six boys, one girl. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Happy. And why don't you tell why Happy is a little different? He's a little different because typically when you have a three colored cat, typically they're females. So like if you have a calico, you have orange tabby, black, and white. That's three colors. Um, when you have a... Um, Torty. Well, if you have Torty, you have orange and black. They're also all girls. They don't have any yeah. white on them necessarily. But, or a dilute calico, which is white, uh, silver, which is blue, and the peach, which is the muted. All the muted, you know, the, the black becomes gray, the orange becomes peach, and they're dilute calico. They're all girls. The Torties are girls. The dilute Torties are girls. This guy... This little boy, when he first came in, he was a little smaller. You know, I said, oh, it's a, you know, it looks like a girl. And you said, oh, he's a boy. And I checked and he's a boy. And I said, oh my gosh, he has so much peach in him, Got him. that he almost, he could almost be one of those anomalies of being a, a tabaco um, because he's so 
I don't know, Jared, if you can see, um, zoom in on his face. It's all peachy right here. It's almost a brown. But you can see peach everywhere. And that peach is it unusual for a male to have the blue, which gray is blue, and the white, and a third, you know, a third color. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> and uh, look at all this peach in here. So, Jared, can you see that? You've got, you can able to zoom in here and see how much peach this little boy has. And on his cute little stripey belly. Look at that. Look at that. You're so cute. All seven oh, are just the yeah. sweetest things, too. They're yeah. love bugs. Yeah, they're very sweet. Um, they're spayed and neutered now, or are they going no, this next getting, week? No, they'll be, by next, today is the 20th, so by next, next Friday, Friday, they'll be ready. And next Friday is our spaghetti dinner. Oh, that's right, our spaghetti. So, so um, their spaghetti dinner. Um, so by then, we'll have the 13 that we took today, because today. now we have to take them to a spay and neuter clinic. Um, and then the 15 that we're doing next week. No, there's 21 being done next week. 21 now being done. I, my, my bad. Um, so between them, we are going to have 34 kittens ready to go home by next weekend. And next, next weekend? weekend is the 28th. Saturday yes. the 28th. Come and get them because they'll be in every color, every size. We have every color. Everybody right. is going to be ready to go. And this one included. So he's a tuxedo because he's got his little shoes. And usually his little shirt is white right in here. So this is his coat and his pants. And his shoes and his shirt are white. That's a tuxedo. And so, um, but he's a beautiful. He's and a I'm good boy. And I'm thinking he's going to keep that peach because he hasn't changed a bit since we got him. No. And he's just a lovely cat. And he's going to be a great pet. Great pet for someone, okay. and he is sweet. Who's next? Okay, we're back. You have to talk about this one. This is my Sam. She's a girl, and as she was saying previous, you see, this is a dilute tortie. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Hates Wendy. Is not a big Wendy fan. That's yeah, about I the only cat that is not. Her. She's a Debbie fan. She sits on my desk. She loves but Debbie. But she needs a home, and she has changed drastically she used to scratch everybody she does not and i'm going to be just honest me. with you um she just needs a home she was an only cat she does not interact with the, she does not fight with anybody um she just wants to be loved <laughs> and be trusted you know she needs to unfortunately her owner is gone not died but he's not, let's just say he's in prison i'm going to be and so she's gone through a lot you know, they had, he had her for a couple of years and she, I, I, when we first got her, she would not even let me do this. Mm -mm. And I'm telling you, and she is a good girl. She is just the sweetest. Look at that face. She lives on your desk. She lives on my desk. Yes. And I'm not allowed to touch Debbie's computer because if I do, uh, she will wake up straight out of a nap and go, I know Wendy's there and literally fly around and come and get me. And I'm not, and and I'm not allowed me. to have a cat and anymore, like, oh. so. And I <laughs> cannot sit at Debbie's desk. She will not let me. She guards oh, yeah. that desk yeah. like it's, that's my mom Debbie's desk and that's the only person that's allowed here. And look at her. She just. But she loves Debbie. And if she loves, loves you, her. you're lucky because she's a good girl. So I just get out of a lot of work because I'm not no, allowed to sit at your desk. I can't work on my desk. So I I'm can like, Debbie, you know. can you Okay, do next cat. <laughs> Sam did not. Sam is a good girl. It's because your name's not Wendy. Yeah, I guess so, Wendy. Right. But she does like Tracy, too, and oh. she doesn't scratch Irene. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if one cat doesn't like me here. That's and that's about right. it. It's going to be one, because <laughs> I mentioned to her the other day, she comes in and she starts talking, and all the cats perk up and look at her. and so. Come over. Mommy's here. Yeah. I love this cat. This cat is gorgeous. He's a stunning, exotic looking boy. He's very genteel, but he can't live in a house. No. Because? He's been adopted twice, returned twice, um, poop on their, in their house. Yeah. Um, and I gotta tell you, I don't know what the situation is. I don't know their homes. 
He does not do it here. Mm -mm. He has never pooped outside the box here mm -mm. or pee that we know of. No. Um, so either he has to have a house with a lot of cats. Yeah. As we do, maybe 20 cats in a house and, you know. Because he came from a colony. He came from a colony. I think and he he's likes... used to all the hustle bustle, the other personalities, which is unusual. And he just lays around. I mean, but yeah. he is like, yeah, but I, he needs it. Or he can yeah. be an outside cat. Yeah. And, you know. Maybe full maybe outside cat. Come in at night. Yeah. Um, put him down maybe in a basement. He's a good boy. He's such a good guy. And he doesn't cause any fights. He looks like he'd be the, the alpha dude. He's a big boy. But he's been pushed around a couple times from other cats. So Yeah, and, and he doesn't... He doesn't want to cause no trouble. He doesn't cause any trouble. He's, he's a big dude. He's got beautiful markings. He's a brown tabby. Hi. I can get you. Look how sweet he is with his little rusty nose. And Red his, nose now. His pink face now. Look at that cat. He just is a sweetheart. You want that big, big he's Tom cat? He's a sweetheart. He's the perfect cat. Yeah. You know, we don't, we don't know every time exact causes of things, but we do know that they'll pee and poop outside the box behaviorally because something's bothering them. And so it can be as simple as... Somebody puts the litter box right next to the washing machine, and the washing machine's running, and he's an outdoor cat. He doesn't know what a washing machine is. He thinks it's a monster. And now the washing machine's going. He's got to go potty. He's not going to go next to the monster in the laundry room, so he's going to have to go somewhere else. We have to think like cats. Um, it can be that simple, or it can be for a kitten. It can be they're up on the second floor and the box is in the basement and it's just too far and you haven't provided enough boxes as they're growing and then take some away as they grow till they can get downstairs um, most kittens can navigate two floors though um, most kittens yeah. can but sometimes it's just a matter of being uncomfortable something in your environment makes them uncomfortable so I say this all the time different environment different cat. So we know that this cat flourishes in an environment where there's lots of other cats, hoopla, yeah. people. He loves it. Yes, He's he does. very comfortable. He's actually uncomfortable by himself. Joe Cool. That's and who he as is. As she said, environment. Um, I don't know if you, if you guys remember we used to have a cat. Ashlyn. Gray cat, mean. You, she wanted to be pet. You pet her. She'd bite you, scratch at you. And um, the gentleman that adopted Maverick before um, returned him, and he took Ashlyn home. And he called me yesterday, and I was nervous when I talked to him because I thought, he said, she is the best cat he's ever had, the most lovable. And we're like, Ashlyn? Ashlyn? No, uh, Avery. I was going to say. Avery. Ashlyn's our sweet old gone. lady. Yeah. You would have told me. <laughs> Avery. 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 Wouldn't go to anybody. She was a mean girl. And fly around the room yep. and try to avoid you. Mm -hmm. All of us. And everybody. He told me this cat sits on his lap. Different environment. So, different environment. Different cat. So when you come in here, we do ask that you sit. Sit with a cat. It's How many times have people come in here for a different cat and they go home with some someone else because that cat adopts you? The cat's going to love you. If the cat is standoffish at home, there's a good chance that cat could be standoffish at your house. And then you're going to get mad. And, you know, it's not the cat's fault. It's not your fault. It's just, you know, we don't get along with everybody. Mm -hmm. So Different environment, different cat can go the opposite way. Right. They're great here like him, mm -hmm. like Maverick, and go to your house and not be so great. Right. But we have a two-week time period. If in the first two weeks it doesn't work out, you can return them full refund, refund no questions asked. We do like to know, yeah, though, I do so we ask. can tell the next person. We're very honest. As you know, yes. we're telling you on TV, uh, this is the deal with this cat. I, don't I'm, come and get him if you don't want to give it a try. Right. But I'm he's very, worth a try. Very honest with everybody who comes in here and asks about a cat. I'm going to tell you, because you never know. We had a cat about two years ago. I always 
pooped outside the box, but right next to the box. And it was a big orange one. Mm -hmm. And he got adopted because they said they had a cat that did the same thing, too. They didn't so care. what's one more? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it was right next to it. I don't know why he didn't go in there, but... I have a family member who has a cat that does that. She just doesn't go in the box. She goes right outside the box. So they just keep paper and newspaper and everything, and they pick it up like you would clean your litter box. Right. So, so they love this cat dearly. Um, so... Well, we're going to go to the store next, right? Yeah, we're going to so go see once my Once again, I want to say good luck to Andy. Good luck, Andy. And his wife. Um, very Merry Christmas. No, <laughs> I won't see you at Christmas time. So I just wish him good luck and happy, thank you, Jared, Happy Halloween, for being happy here. Thanksgiving, all that, Merry all Christmas. All those holidays. So. In between. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Andy. <laughs> just to just uh, had this um, moment where someone, a little birdie, said, you should have Andy on the show because everybody wants to, never really get to see you, Andy. Not on this show, anyway. Not on but, this uh, show, but if you watch Armstrong, yeah. you, you, you see a lot of Andy. Yeah. You, you travel, yeah. you do your theater, mm -hmm. and you have your own show with right. your friend. Yeah. And I, I love that show. That, yeah. Where you talk about movies and things yeah. like that. So you want to tell the folks where you're going? Yeah, I'm going to uh, another uh, company, still producing video, still uh, uh, creating content, uh, but it was just a offer that came along that I couldn't pass up. But I'll still be fairly local, and, uh, and who knows, maybe I'll be able to come back and host a program or two here on Armstrong, depending on how things go. But, uh, but yeah, it, this, is, this show, uh, Cat Chat, is, was one of my first series that I created for... Um, local programming and uh we met up through another show we were doing and, and yep. you had the idea of of doing a cat focused show and yeah eight years later and hundred some episodes and we're still going strong so that's because i never run out of things to say <laughs> that's true that's true so um, and debbie is a phenomenal co-host and we've had right. um we've had a couple allison oh, was a, a co-host for years who used to work with you that's at right. armstrong yeah. she did a fantastic alex. job alex yeah yeah alex, alex did it yeah. and then debbie and so in yeah. just three people in all these episodes yeah. and all we really have had stability and it's really thanks to you yeah. andy well, we could is, not have done it without you well i appreciate that this not has at all. always been one of my favorite shoots uh, i'm also a cat lover so it's fun, you know, even though you don't get to see me, I get to, to be here every week, and yeah. and I'm going to miss this. And you learn a singer, too? And I always learn something, for sure. <laughs> I go home and I tell my wife, now, Wendy said that you got to make sure that, <laughs> so we have three cats, so, uh, so yes, I, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to do this and able to, uh, I hope that it will continue here on Armstrong, and um, and it's been it's been a lot of fun, but I'll I'll still be around. I'll still Excellent. come and see the cats once in a while. You but. better. <laughs> and then you're coming to the spaghetti dinner, so and we're going to see you one dinner. more good time. That's right. Absolutely. And we'll have a good time there. For so, sure. thank you again, Andy. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Jared. It was a great idea. All right. So I'm going to take you on a tour really quick because it's a very small shop right now but we're going to be expanding we're going to have some furniture and things out into our warehouse area when we get to that point but we really wanted to just get some of the nicer things out for the chic and the shabby part of our shop um, this is a nice little dinette set <laughs> it does have a, a leaf in there and our prices are really good and we'll probably have um, a sale uh, once a month where we just take you know 25 percent off of everything and so your whole bill will be knocked down. Um, some of the things that um, my, my mother-in-law and I have made, we've, we make a lot of our own stuff and always have. I've been doing this for uh, 40 years. I've been making things. So we have a lot of these things. My basement looks like an absolute uh, store because I'm into crafting and stuff like that. So we do have a lot. You can see them on the wall. Um, we have purses, girly stuff, some housewares, um, cards, some gift cards. Everything is very inexpensive. Jared's on the uh, camera, and right behind him is a whole pet center, if you want to just pan over there. Um, we have some pet-related things, nothing even close to the amount of things that we have that we can be putting in here. 
Um, so we will be expanding very rapidly. We have cage after cage after cage that are brand new, that people donate. We just have so many that we're going to go ahead and put them in here. Um, we have a children's corner over here. I don't know if Jared can see this. Um, over in this corner is just a few things for kids, some toys. And I have a little system where I designed, so we didn't have to tag tag everything. So our pricing is by color coded tags. So we have one, two, three, four, and five dollar items. And there are little cups that the kids can color the, the design and then put it back in there and that's their cup. So we try to keep everything very low so that it's affordable, but we do have some really nice things. And again, Jared, there's a really beautiful piece of art here um, that I think is super affordable. And if you own your own business and you want to decorate, uh, like if you look, look how huge this thing is. This is a gorgeous picture that I picked up um, and uh, it's $70, but we are also negotiable. Um, we need to make money and yet we don't want to ask top dollar for it. It was probably a lot more for this picture, like a lot more, but we do need to move our items because we have such a small shop that we need to move everything. So we're, if you come in and you see something you like, please don't be afraid to say, you know, I'd like to offer you this for thus and such or a pile and we'll take some money off. Just, we just need to move it, but it is for the kitties. Everything here is to help raise money so we can stay in this building and take care of our cats the way that we like to take care of them. Um, we have a huge jewelry room that I'll take you to next. So um, this is our jewelry room. We kind of have a whole room. We don't even have half of what we have that's been donated to us out. I have a friend that don has been donating to me jewelry for years and years and I've tried to find outlets for it but now we have a really great outlet for it. So I had these um, cubicle bookcases donated to us years ago and it just turned out to be the perfect thing. So my stepmom, who is a great decorator, I am not, she just put it all in here like this. It's gorgeous. But as you can see again, these are really reasonable prices. This is our holiday room. Gan, Sandy, and I did a few things in here. A lot of this stuff was donated, so we do keep the prices low. Uh, like this is $4, this is $3. If you put a candle in here, it actually has a candle in here. I spruced this little girl up and I put some candy cane bows on her little feeties there. And I think we, we had $5 on her only. She's adorable. Um, so we have this whole section of Halloween here. And then it flows into the other side of the room, which is our fall slash Thanksgiving. And um, we started making these. So we're going to be getting a lot of these in. We're making these by hand ourselves. This is a wine bottle and they're only $12. This is a beautiful piece for your mantle or your table or anywhere. Um, a lot of the floral, like I made this hat as well. Um, I'm not going to put it on because it looks silly on me, but <laughs> I only have $6.50 on this hat. And you can put that anywhere in your house um, for decoration. And um, we have a whole bookcase here. So this is our store. And um, we hope that you come in and shop for the animals and, and support our organization at Get Crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Wendy from Cat Chat and Faith and I would like to thank you for watching Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel.